So it's the biggest wardrobe I've actually ever had. I fell in love with it straight away and I think probably bought it a month after that. It doesn't have storage, it's not practical at all by any means, but it's so lovely. The grey water gets pumped out and recycled into our garden out the back of the house. Hi, I'm Meg. This is my tiny house. Come and check it out. So this is my kitchen. I love this bench top. It's a giant slab of macrocarpa that has been purposed for a bench top. I love that it just gives this whole area like a real warmth and a lot of character. The sink is um, lovely and big. I really like a big sink. Um, I have running water in the tiny, so no pumps or anything. It just comes straight from the grid. I have quite a lot of bench space, but yeah, try to keep it clean and can hide a few things in the sink. I've got um, pretty good storage in here. This is kind of my my tea cabinet. A lot of the teas and things that I've gotten here are from our garden. So I've kept the whole open plan uh, look here. So instead of having cupboard fronts, everything's just kind of open. These are old repurposed beer crates. So that keeps all my baking goods, lots of jars, more storage under there. I've got two little fridges, one fridge, one freezer. I've just got essentially a beer fridge, <laughs> that's a wee bit bigger, and a full freezer. At the moment, that's really good for me. More open space here so I can just see all of the pots and pans that I'm using. And I quite like that look instead of having lots of cupboards. My pantry over here is like handmade from an old bookshelf and all my pantry food and ingredients and recycling all goes down the bottom there. So I've got a full-sized stove. It's probably a little bit unjustified to have a hob that's this big because um, I'm not a massive cook, but there's potential for me to cook. The people that um, built the house had a big, much bigger family than just me, but I, I really like it and I'm not going to get rid of it anytime soon. But the gas is for the oven and also for the hot water as well. So I keep all my cups and glasses, dishes in the open so I can see it and grab it. Plus I just think it looks nice. I love collecting old mugs so yeah I like to be able to see the things I've collected. I'm a big coffee fan as well so I had to have a decent coffee machine so that's a big thing for me it's part of my routine I love having a coffee in the morning. I also have outlets in the bench top which is really good for charging like my phone if I'm cooking or my iWatch or anything that's that needs USB charging and then I've got this window which I love. Being able to just open is great for when I'm cooking but also just in summertime it's gorgeous with all the fresh air coming through so one thing I would change if I was going to change anything, because I'm so short, um, I would happily have the ceiling a little bit lower to then give me a little bit more loft room. That would be my one thing. And now we uh, come to the living room, which is probably my favourite part about the tiny house. I am a big plant fan, as you can see, so that was really important to me to be able to have a nice bright light space where I could put all my house plants. Probably my favourite thing about the lounge is this beautiful bay window. So at the end of the day, that sort of golden hour, the sun just comes streaming through and it just flows all through the whole house and it's stunning, it's really beautiful, straight off the hills. Uh, the other thing that I really wanted was a, like a proper big couch. So I got a normal couch it doesn't have storage it's not practical at all by any means but it's so lovely to just sit down on and relax I've got a bit of extra space in here so if I have um, a few more people around like maybe four or five people this hammock is awesome for sitting in I do have a projector which is um, up here and a screen which can be hung up where the kitchen is but I very rarely use it it's quite a faff to set up um, I need to get a pull down screen but, so I can watch TV, but I've just got a laptop. I love art, I love photography, I especially love like black and white art. And so these were the pieces of art that I chose to take from the house that I moved from. I just think it's really nice to have lots of art. And also probably my other favorite thing and probably one of the most important thing is the fireplace that I've got as well. It heats the whole house up like so fast and it got me through winter and it was actually a really, really nice vibe. I have lived in this tiny home for only probably seven months now, so it's pretty new. The reason why I wanted to live in a tiny home was I'd had a, a change of circumstances and I was looking at rentals and, and that kind of thing um, in the town that I'm in uh, and they were just so expensive. I was in a position to buy something but not, um, not an entirely new house and 
I just always loved tiny homes. I've got a van um, as well, and I, I was thinking, oh, could I live out of that? But nah, I need something bigger. I had a, a friend who lives in a house truck, uh, and he told me about this place that was for sale, and people that built it were moving uh, back to their home country and they were selling it. So I came and had a look and because it was on its own land as well that was a huge bonus and I fell in love with it straight away and I think probably bought it a month after that. At the end of the kitchen is this door uh, which is concealing this excellent walk-in wardrobe. When I bought this there were uh, little kids living here so this was like a playroom sort of a nursery area. I don't need that so I decided to put up a rack and make it a big open plan basically walk-in wardrobe. So it's the biggest wardrobe I've actually ever had, but I also can put uh, squabs or mattress down on the floor and have like guests stay in here if they really need to. The reason I decided to use uh, this room as a wardrobe was because I tried, when I first moved in, I tried to put my clothes upstairs in my loft bedroom and it's just so small you're getting changed like on the ground um, and I couldn't see what I was wearing it just was a pain so I thought I'll utilize this room bring everything downstairs um, so it's got also my linen towels that kind of thing shoes so it's a lot easier having all my clothes in one space so this is my tiny bathroom I was actually really pleasantly surprised by the size of this when I came to see this house this shower is actually like full size it's a really good easy shower I use a caliphant to heat the water so it's it's always piping hot, which I quite enjoy. So the system that we've got here is that the grey water goes out into a soak pit, which is out the back, just out through this window, that then gets pumped out and recycled into a garden out the back of the house. I love the, the cabinet and the sink sitting on top like this. I just love all the little bits of wood. It's something that when I got here I didn't want to change. I just love that old feel. I have a compost toilet um, in the tiny, just your standard compost toilet. And we use wood chips. I'm a big fan of compost toilets. Once you get your head around using a a compost toilet it's not that bad and it doesn't smell so I think yeah people have a con uh, misconception about them being smelly or dirty but to me it's it's a lot less smelly than a conventional toilet so yeah I really like it so this is the hallway of my house um, thought I would show you classic tiny home storage which is under the stairs so I've got my junk drawer sort of medicines vitamins supplements and more food in here I've got all my climbing gear in here so all my harness and bits and pieces and under here it's just washing powder. Got a full size normal washing machine which is really good, works well. Um, under here I've got more storage so this is all my wetsuits which fold up quite nicely, They're my summer wetsuits and under here we have more just junk storage really. These are bits and pieces for painting the house. So that's my underfloor storage. The stairs are really cool. I love the strip lighting that's underneath here. And another cool little feature was the ore that's on the side of the wall. I think it's a really nice feature and just adds more wood back into the hallway area. This is another favorite space of mine, which is my loft. I've got a queen size mattress in this loft space. It's actually quite a high mattress, which makes the head height thing even worse, but it's so comfortable and it's a really good quality mattress. Again, uh, another place to display my uh, love of plants. I, I had sort of like the childhood dream of living in a greenhouse and going to sleep with plants all around my head so uh, I have tried to make that happen. So far so good. I utilize this floor space just it's a it's a really nice meditation area it's a nice reading area yeah and it just gets super warm up here um, when the fire's on so. So I've got pretty minimal storage up here. I've got a few shelves and cubby holes with books and some linen just to make it easier to make the bed. I've got a old picnic basket next to my bed as a sort of a bedside table. I think you start to get quite creative with storage when you live in such a small little place because you're looking at everything all the time. Another thing that I've got which you can't really see today but the view straight out this window right up into the, the hills is incredible so yeah I get to see that every morning listen to all the birds it's just a you feel like you're in a tree house actually it's really nice yeah I think the journey of living in a tiny home has been really special for me I think 
with just things in my life changing. Um, my kids have all grown and left home now. I wanted something that was just for me and I just didn't want to live in someone else's rental. So the fact that I own this, that I can take this, it's on wheels, I can tow it somewhere else if I need to. The fact that it's on land that's in such a beautiful area. I've got great neighbours that have tiny houses and house trucks around. It's a really nice little community. I thought I might feel isolated or quite alone living on my own like this, but it's actually been super rewarding, really peaceful. The quiet of this valley is as well. It's just a really beautiful place. I love the lifestyle. I think it's a beautiful way to live. It's taught me heaps about how to sort of care for the land. It's made me really aware of my impact on the land as well. So uh, how much water is going out, how much rubbish I'm going through. So it's made me become a lot more conscious of that. It's a journey that I'm so far really enjoying. Yeah. So this is the outdoor area. So originally uh, when I first bought the place, it just had like a pallet, like old pallets as a sort of a deck. And I just, it just didn't do the house justice. It was tiny. I really wanted a space that I could invite friends over. I think a big deck really extends the living space beautifully. So I managed to find a, a friend of a friend who was a builder and he was able to build it for me. I love the Quila wood. It's way more expensive to build a Quila deck, but it lasts forever. One of the things that we did for the design of the deck was have it so that it's actually not attached to the house. So if I need to move or want to shift it at all, this whole deck is, has been built so it can just be lifted up in one piece. Same with the pergola. So yeah, I was really happy. He was an awesome builder, did a great job. Yeah, I can't wait for a little bit more sunshine to have a few more summer parties out here. So this is something that I am really proud of. It's a community veggie garden. So, uh, well, community, it's my neighbour and mine. Uh, so this was hugely overgrown when we got here. Yeah, we've got all of our veggies and things sorted for summer. We're just waiting for it to do its jobs. But we've got lots of beans, coriander, herbs. I just wanted something that I could come into every evening, pick what I needed and go and cook with it when I learn how to cook properly. But yeah, it's just, it's been a really um, interesting process learning what grows well with what and kind of letting nature do its thing. So yeah, this is, this was a big, um, a big highlight of the house for me, this huge garden. Thanks heaps for coming to my tiny home tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love my house as much as I do.